Hello students now we will be solving memory based questions of gate 19 for more video solution on gate 19 subscribe to our channel and don't forget to click bell icon for instant notification Hello everyone today we will be taking question from the subject of manufacturing the chapter is welding so the question is a gas tungsten arc welding operation is performed using a current of 250 amperes and an arc voltage of 20 volts at a welding speed of 5 mm per second Assuming that the arc efficiency is seventy percent, the net heat input per unit length of the weld will be. So they have given us current, they have given us voltage. So heat input we can find as the power supply. What is the power supply? V into I. Now they have given us the arc efficiency is seventy percent. It means whatever power we are supplying, that entire power is not reaching the weld. Only seventy percent is reaching and thirty percent is being lost. That means what is the total heat supplied? Power into 0.7. Okay, so from there we can find the heat supplied. Now they are asking us to find heat input per unit length. So we'll find the heat supplied, then we'll divide the heat supplied with the velocity. So this becomes very simple. So let's start with the solution now. Power supplied is V into I. V is 20 volts, I is 250 amperes. 20 into 250. Then what is the heat supplied? Heat supplied to weld. It is 70 percent into power supplied. 0.7 into 20 into 250 then they are asking us to find heat input per unit length per unit length it is 0.7 into 20 into 250 divided by the speed 5 mm per second even if you didn't understand the concept In the exam, you could have solved this question directly by balancing the units. What is the unit of power that we get? The unit of power we get is watts. What is the unit of speed? Five mm per second. Watt is nothing but kilojoule per second. So when you divide kilojoule per second by mm per second, the final unit that you will get is kilojoule per mm. So just by balancing the units also, you could have solved this question. Okay. So the final answer comes out to be. 0.7 kilojoule per mm. Okay. Hope you like the video. Please share this with your friends. Thank you.